No, 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 I didn't quit. Eagle Wings are the reigning women's basketball champions, a title they also won in 2009. Game one of their best of three series was a tight match that saw them prevail 58-55. They won't be calling it so close tomorrow. Captain Silale Shani says their strategy is to win by playing their game the best way they can. The team was in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire in October for the African Club Basketball Championship and it is the experience gained there and the abilities they will be banking on during game two. The gym is going to be packed, mostly with USIU fans. Of course, USIU has more to lose than we do, because if we win, then the series is over. So we were anticipating all of that. Again, I say we lead with 20 points with confidence, yes, but it's also a very real possibility it'll be a close game. The difference between the two teams is almost on extreme ends. Eagle Wings has the bulk of the national team players, while their opponents' flames have a youthful and largely inexperienced team. Nonetheless, Coach Smarts Olumbo expects USIU to give them a run for their money going by game one. What now boils down is that they want to prove a point. We have something to keep, something that is ours, and that's the trophy. The national women's basketball title will be decided tomorrow if Eagle Wings prevail over USIU. But if the opposite happens, then the national champion will be known after game three on Sunday. The Eagle Wings vs Flames match will be preceded by the Division 1 final between Nakuru Club and Nairobi Aviation. Defending men's champions cooperative bank play USIU men after the ladies match. Maureen Mwende, Citizen Sports.